Brijesh, who is currently in, of course, uh, Dwarka, that is the worst affected area. Brijesh, we know that in, from Dwarka itself, thousands of people have been evacuated from the low-lying areas. Give us a real uh, extent of damage and the situation right now on ground. People venturing into those areas of Gujarat, is it safe? Uh, what's the direction has the government given to those people who are still stranded? Has help reached their way? I have a problem with uh, Brijesh's audio. Brijesh, uh, a little problem with your audio. That's, uh, that's, in fact, that's, that's the real issue there we've been facing with our reporters uh, because electricity has cut off. Most of the uh, villages there, uh, villages in fact have no electricity. Uh, that's really making things hard for rescue uh, and relief efforts as well. But thankfully, even before the cyclone hit, we know that the NDRF, SDRF teams had done enough to ensure the damage is minimum. So people have been moved out of those areas, but those who remain are really struggling at this point to, uh, to, of course, find some kind of connectivity. Our reporters there uh, are still managing their way to bring us these reports, so people are alert and aware. I'm going to give you a, a quick glimpse here into how the cyclone has moved, the kind of uh, the progress the cyclone has had right from last, uh, early last evening to uh, we hours of the morning. In fact, this comes at 1 a.m. We're seeing the cyclone, the eye of the storm that moved all the way from... Uh, 1 a.m. It's now showing how it moved right from Gujarat's Kutch region and of course the areas that it had uh, touched upon were Dwarka, Jamnagar, Junagar and as, as it approaches uh, the, the afternoon we're seeing it pass through Udaipur. This is the eye of the storm that shows how the storm is now passing through Udaipur and then it's going to head towards at this point move towards Kota. Uh, in Rajasthan and then slowly make its way towards areas of Uttar Pradesh. Even as I speak, in fact, Delhi has had rains. Uh, the national capital Delhi right now, yeah, where I'm at, uh, ha has been draining for the last hour or so. Nice showers. It's back in sunny again, but that's the, the reason is, of course, the effects of this very cyclone uh, that's now weakened in strength, uh, moving away after it's made its landfall in Gujarat. So the effects of it now is minimum, but what happened in Gujarat is certainly something that we are trying to, uh, you know, accumulate with through images and show you the impact of it. I'm going to quickly cut across now to uh, Brijesh. If Brijesh is with us, Brijesh, tell us a little more uh, on on Dwarka situation at this point. We know that Dwarka is the worst hit. Uh, electricity not available. Uh, it's been snapped across many villages as the poles have been uprooted. Trees now blocking accessibility. Give us a scenario where you're at. Uh, see, right now I'm at the Dwarka beach uh, from uh, last three days. I'm reporting about the, uh, the cy uh, cyclone's possible effect. And now uh, there is uh, some uh, good news for Dwarka uh, uh, that there is no uh, much more damage or the casualty in the Dwarka. But uh, there were trees were fallen and uh, the electric poles were uprooted. Uh, so the uh, power supply has, uh, has not been restored yet. It will take more than uh, 24 hours in Dwarka. This is Dwarka, this temple. Uh, people have uh, always faith. Uh, uh, when it's about the Soros people, uh, they always faith. Uh, they have have the faith on the God that uh, whenever uh, this kind of situation occurs or, or the uh, cyclone is coming towards the Gujarat uh, because of uh, this uh, Dwarka temple or uh, the Somna temple uh, due to which uh, it never affected badly or the uh, worst effect uh, is always been uh, away from the uh, Gujarat school. So uh, this is the faith of the people and that's why uh, when I talked with uh, uh, MOS home, uh, Hurst Sangvi, he also said that uh, due to the uh, Somna temple, the Somna Mahadev's uh, uh, blessing or the Dwarka is blessing and the appropriate work uh, done by the union and state government. Uh, the casualty was, uh, there, is, uh, there was no report of the uh, casualty or the human death. Uh, so that's why that this part is uh, successful and uh, from a short while uh, now, uh, the, himself, the man, uh, Home Minister of State, uh, Sangri will uh, go to the Dwarka temple and uh, get the blessing of the uh, Lord Dwarkadi. So uh, this kind of situation right now, the wind is still there, uh, the current is in, uh, still in the sea, but but uh, people of Dwarka are happy that uh, there is no more damage or there is not much damage in Dwarka itself. Uh, no uh, damage is there in Kutch, but not much in Dwarka.